So hi, Mitya. Hi, uh, thanks for stopping by and um, welcome to my boot. Uh, uh, we're Crosspatch, a brand new brand, and we're presenting uh, the trigger pad. It's a small module, uh, trigger uh, sequencing um, dynamic triggers. So uh, it uses a uh, launch pad or any other uh, grid sequencer with an 8x8 grid to create uh, sequences. Uh, it's meant to be easy to use, so the, our focus was to have a workflow that is tailored to live performances. Um, there are no deep menu diving, so we'll just uh, press start and show you how it works. Uh, the eight channels are selected on the top row. We can quickly uh, change the length of the of the pattern. Um, we dial in the the steps uh, we we want to hear, and by pressing and holding it, we can select multiple and change also the dynamics of that step. It's better heard on the snare drum, so let's put a. Let's put the snare, and then let's select these other steps. And when we add some, some dynamics into it, it already feels completely different rhythm. So how, how is it, how is it uh, communicating that to the modules? Because obviously this is, the sound is coming from the modular, right? Uh, so yes, uh, the, um, the launch pad is used uh, as an interface uh, uh, where you program and see the patterns. It's connected to via USB to the module, and the module has eight trigger outputs, dynamic trigger outputs on uh, uh, with eight uh, levels of uh, velocity. Uh, and these trigger outputs are in this case connected to uh, drum voices. So, and the the, uh, the drum module that you're using has to be able to take dynamic trigger inputs, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. There are more and more modules. This one is the six mod six. Uh, it, uh, it's analog, which uh, makes it easier to react to, um, to dynamic triggers. So among these simple, like basic features, uh, we have also the possibility to uh, save these uh, uh, patterns. We can save 64 patterns. We can uh, then chain them and we can also we can also have, uh, so you can see that it's it's changing the um, the, the steps that you the displaying different steps when it changes um, the sequence. Um, the complexity you create by uh, changing the, uh, the, the pattern length to different. Uh, um, different uh, lengths that maybe are not so regular. So let's say we, we have it like this. Can you do a different pattern length per channel? Exactly, you can. And this is what creates the, the, the complexity. Even also shuffle is uh, per channel, but you can use it also on a, on a um, global level. And this is uh, the page for the shuffle, uh, which uh, allows you to create uh, uh, shuffle patterns. So you decide on which steps the shuffle will happen. Um, what's more is that it's, uh, the retriggering can happen at a very fast pace, so uh, up to audio rates. And uh, on uh, kick drums, it can can it can generate uh, bass lines almost. This it works uh, better without the shuffle. And there is also, the, of course, the possibility to uh, have it uh, to have a session mode uh, where you can. Uh, record uh, the pattern by playing it. So. And so 
here we have the pattern we just recorded. Uh, it's uh, very intuitive. What we try to do is to make it uh, affordable uh, for um, newcomers to Eurorack uh, to have a strong possibility, uh, like a lot of flexibility in one module. Uh, with the longer pulses, you can even create uh, um, steppy modulations, and then it's not uh, bound only to uh, triggers, uh, to triggering um, drum modules, but also uh, to modulate other uh, other modules, par other parameters. So, um, when when are you kind of hoping to have it ready? Is it is it kind of ready to go? Are you? It's ready shipping? to go. Uh, it will be shaped even more, but uh, it's gonna be ready uh, or shipping end of uh, summer. And uh, do you have a price on it? Uh, I think the price will be around uh, 250 plus VAT. Um, as I said, we try to make it uh, affordable and. Uh, you know, the launch pad, you can use any launch pad, uh, even the older ones that you can find for very cheap on second hand market. And they work just as fine as these ones. Perfect. Well, Mitya, thank you very much. Thank you for pa passing by. Ciao.